What's going on guys, Trainer Topes here with you. Alright, so normally I don't do these videos, but today I have a serious issue. So as you can see, I have four Silver Tempest booster boxes in front of me. I just received them today, which is Sunday, September 8th. Um, they were delivered right around 1.35pm at my time, at my house. So, I ordered them from the Pokemon Center, which I will never do again. I would recommend not purchasing booster boxes from the Pokemon Center. Mainly because they don't wrap up their stuff. Anything that can get damaged could possibly damage. So I received these. I got home. Opened them up right away. Um, everything was it was a $1,000 order. And these four booster boxes were a part of that. Now. I expected there to be some sort of wrapping. Normally they don't. But I've never ordered anything near this much before. So I assumed... With four booster boxes, they would at the very least take care of the booster boxes because they are so fragile. They did not. Everything was just tossed in there. On my Instagram, if you guys don't follow me, follow me on my Instagram. I will tr try to remember to link it down in the description. I will have pictures of how I received the box and how big the box was compared to the, with the order slash how everything was when I opened it. Um, the tape was damaged on it, packaging to... It was just really bad. So we're going to go through these booster boxes. So three of the four were severely damaged. So this one is the only good one. And it's still like a little bit there. You know, nothing too crazy. A little a little dinged up on the side over there. Nothing nothing serious, okay? This one I was like, okay, not the biggest end all be all type thing. You know, a little damage on the corner. Like, it's going to happen. I, I understand booster boxes are going to get damaged. My issue is going to be, I don't know if you guys can see these creases right here, right here. Like, if I wanted to keep these sealed... Like, this is horrible. And, like, who knows, like, what could happen? This one, one of them actually has a rip in it, not this one. Um, let me see. Okay, so this one, the back actually is okay. Little dings up here. You know, once again, little things is an issue. Like, this bed right here bothers me because who knows what happens with the cards. So then I've got not this one. This one, same thing, all bent up in the middle. Box is just beat up everywhere. Just this one's bent over here too. I mean, I know there's going to be issues at times, but they're packed so well when they, like, they're packed so tightly in like a sealed case because they won't get damaged that way. So when you ship things out, you should take care of it. I mean, look at the tops too. Like none of the tops are even remotely close to being sealed. And don't get me wrong, I understand like that's not always going to be the case, but like you can tell it's just. Scr scratched away so this one actually has a rip in it so there's a little rip right there um this one is really beat up really bad like this is the one i'm severely concerned about so there's damage there damage in the front there's damage all over this one. i mean this one is just completely beat so anyways i contacted pokemon center right away i messaged them got a hold of someone relatively quick on their messaging line and so I sent them photos with my packing slip. I sent them photos of it and everything, and we'll see what we can do from there. Okay, perfect. So I sent them the photos. He's like, well, you know, we're sorry that these came damaged, but unfortunately, you know, that's going to happen in shipping. I go, well, not if you pack it securely. It wouldn't happen in shipping. I mean, I it came with a bunch of tins, a bunch of stuff. Like, it was a lot. Like I said, it was $1,000. These were about 150 a piece, okay? So that was only half the order, a little more than half the order. So there was a lot of stuff in there. Um, so he said, yeah, there's nothing we can do about it. I go, but there's a tear in the actual packaging, and these, like, are bent. Like, the cards could be severely damaged. And they said, well, you know, have you opened up and checked them? I'm like, well, I'm not planning on opening them up just yet. Like, I wanted to save them for a later date. Like, these, I had a plan for these four boosters, well, three of the four booster boxes. Like, there was a plan for these. Um... And they were going to be opened. And he's like, well, unfortunately, we can't do anything about it. What do you... I don't understand why you can't do anything about it. This... Like, you're at the Pokemon Center. Like, you... If anyone's going to take care of any product of yours, it should be you guys. You guys should take care of it. Um, And he's like, no, there's nothing we can do. He's like, I'll... You know, he's like, I will pass this on. But he's like, yeah, there's nothing we can do about this. And so, I, you know, at the end, this is all via a chat. And this is not a robot. This is a person. At first, it was a robot. It did come to a real person. So, at the end, he's like, oh, you know, I'm glad I could help with, I'm glad I could help you out today. 
Um, if you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to us. Have a great day. I'm like, I saw I, I did message back and go, I have plenty of concerns. You're just not able to help them, but I hope you have a great day. Or, but you have a great day is what I said at the end. Like, and I said that, like I texted out, like I have plenty of concerns. You guys just aren't able to help with concerns. So have a great day. And they never responded back to that, of course, which is fine. I get it. I mean, I'm normally a pretty nice person, I feel. But, like, I expect much better care, especially from someone from the Pokemon Center. You are the Pokemon Center. You are the store. You are the official store. What is happening? I don't understand. Um, and so, yeah, I would not recommend buying booster boxes from the Pokemon Center. Um, just for this reason. I, I've i I've bought them, like, one at a time before a couple times. And, yes, they've never been wrapped or anything. But they've been in relatively small boxes where the damage was pretty limited. But this had so much heavy stuff in it and other stuff. And there was so much room left in this box that they were just flinging around probably in that box the whole time. Driving, bouncing, shipping. Someone accidentally tipped it over. Someone actually dropping it. Who knows? Like, you don't know what happened. You don't know what's going to happen. Do I expect them to be necessarily perfect? No, of course not. But I expect things to be taken care of better than this. And so I'm sorry for making this video. I just want you guys to be aware of it just because it, it was actually a severe concern of mine that this happened and that the Pokemon Center could not help. They were like, no, sorry. Like, so I just want you guys to know if you guys have had any, you know, issues like this before, let me know. I I, I don't know. I, I don't know if this is a common thing, but... From in the past, I'm going... I just assume they would wrap these. Or at least package the box better. You know, package with some bubble wrapping or something. To prevent more flipping and flopping around in the box. Um, so it looks like I am keeping these. Um, so they will still be opened. Um, whether or not it was what I intended for, we'll have to wait and see. Um, I'm just going to open this one, I guess, first. Uh, soon, I guess. I don't, I don't even know what I'm going to do, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think. Comment down below in the description. Like the video if you like it. Um, if you have ever had this happen to you. Or if you agree or don't agree with me. Like, let me know. Let me know down below in the comments. I'm not trying to be negative. And it's obviously not going to stop me from opening Pokemon cards. Because I love it. And it's, it's fun to do. And, you know, it's it's just it's just a good time. And But I just will never buy from them. And I even paid more. Like I can get these from my L from my local game store, right around the same price. And I didn't. I didn't. I went to them. I'm like, oh, let's just have some fun. Won't do that again. I'll probably never buy from them again, just out of not a spite per se, but just because it was frustrating. And I just don't want to risk something being damaged that I just can't get my money back for that shouldn't have been damaged during shipping. Like if Target can ship better than you guys, if eBay sells ship better than you guys, like. All these people, everybody else ships better than them. And like I said, this wasn't the first time. This was just the biggest time. And nothing was ever this badly damaged where I was severely concerned. I've had little creases and stuff before, but... So, I already put out a video today. This was obviously a last minute thing. I'm sorry to bring it, like, be a little negative here. I apologize, guys. You know I'm a pretty positive person, I feel like, for the most part. And I think I'm pretty fair, for the most part. Um... But this is just something that kind of got got to me a little bit. And kind of frustrating when you spend $1,000 and your stuff is treated like it was just nothing. Um, so that was the real frustrating part. Like, I spent $1,000. And I get it in the grand scheme of things. That's not that much on Pokemon stuff. But for someone like me, that's a lot of money. Like, that's a lot of money. So, um... I just want to throw it out there for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Um, and if you guys want to see what happens to these booster boxes, stay tuned because there's definitely at least one going to be opened up really, really soon. Probably within the next week or two. So, see you guys on the next one.